identifying false prophets. That's the question I was asked today. Boy, they don't throw easy ones at me right away, right? How do you identify a false prophet? Well, first of all, anyone who's not giving glory to Jesus Christ and saying that Jesus Christ came in the flesh and that he was the Son of God, that's step one. If someone's not going to identify that and, and share that and believe that, then you know they're a false prophet. Another thing you want to watch out for false prophets is they're adding or taking away from the scriptures. The Bible says in Revelations, if anyone adds or takes away from this book, let them be accursed. So you want to make sure that your foundation and my foundation is always the truth of the Word of God. There are streams that come and there's streams that go. I've been through them all. Different movements in the body of Christ and some are good and some are not so good. But our, always our firm foundation is the Word of God. If you can't find it in the Scriptures, if someone's teaching you something other than what Jesus taught or what's in the holy canon of the Word of God, you need to really run away from that because even the Bible says in the last days there's going to be a lot of different people coming and saying Jesus is the Christ, he's the Son of God, but still leading people astray. And I believe we're in that season. So please be alert. Don't be foolish. Don't listen to everybody's ideas and whims. Go back to the scriptures. You know, even when Paul taught the scriptures to people, he would say to them, go and study the scriptures for yourself. Don't take my word for it. How do I become safe and how do I guard myself from being deceived and from false prophets? Always go back to the scriptures. The scripture is the beginning and the end of our relationship with Christ. It gives us instruction, wisdom. It makes us fully equipped. That's what the scripture says. So I'm encouraging you as a person who's studied the Bible for 45 years now, I guess it is, everything I've ever needed to know was always found in the scriptures. And when something didn't feel right on the inside, it seemed a little weird, and I went back and studied, I always was able to determine, is this error or is it truth? And the bottom line is, a false prophet is someone prophesying that's not truth, it's error. So you wanna go back to the foundation and the truth of the word will always give you sound information to make a good decision. Matter of fact, I wanna pray for you right now because we live in a day right now where people are being deceived. So can we agree right now for God's truth to illuminate you, God's truth to guide and direct you? His, his word is a lamp to our feet, it's a light to our path, right? We know how to walk by the word. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for people that are hearing winds of doctrine, other uh, ideologies and philosophies that are not according to the scripture. Some people even get to a point where they say, you can't believe the Bible because there's other revelation. Lord, sanctify us in your truth. Your word is truth. That's exactly what Jesus prayed to the Father. So God, help us to always filter what we hear through the truth of the word so that we can know that we're walking in truth and obedience to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you, friend.